Hold on, I'm trying to read the back. Your healing is amplified by 10% plus 5% per leaf item inside. And right now there's one, two, three, four inside. Okay, this procs faster. So it would be better to have that connected to Goobert than the rainbow, which has a seven second proc rate. Oh, actually, this doesn't even proc repeatedly. This just procs once after seven seconds, then never again. Well, okay then. Okay. Alright, so we do have scaling damage now, because Goobert will be buffing this short bow as time passes, I believe. Yeah, so now it does three to four damage. Wait, is it buffing him? No. Oh, I I see. I have to reposition some stuff. I see what's wrong. It has to be... Oh, my God. All right. All right. It has to be in one of those um, green tiles like that. Okay. Um, bow and arrow, six to nine. That looks nice. I don't know if we could fit that in my bag, though. Reserve that. it will properly buff the bow now. So the bow says it does two to three damage right now. And then Goober Prox now it does five to six. All right, there we go. So the, the bow is going to start dramatically increasing in uh, now nine to 10. So yeah, we're ramping up now. 11 to 12 per shot. 13 to 14 per shot. 15 to 16 per shot. Yippee! Yippee! There we go. Oh, we got a heart back too. Subclass unlocked. All right, what do we got? Uh, big bowl of treats related to pets. Hunter, weapons do plus 50% critical damage. They remove 15 block on crit. Item activations, 55% chance to gain one luck. Uh, life binder, start a battle, gain some buffs. Every five mana use, heal for 17, and cleanse two debuffs. Pathfinder, you have plus 5% chance to resist debuffs for each star item. Uh, for every spike you get, inflict two poison. I remember I used this last time with the pineapple, but I don't have pineapple right now. Mega Clover, sale chance increase, chance to find items increase, shop enter, generate two lucky clovers. 15 luck in reach, gain 25 random other buffs. Um, none of this is really jumping out at me right now. I gain two random buffs and make food trigger 25% faster up to 100%. Okay, this would be really good with Goobert because it's only 3.7%. See, Friends of the Forest offered in the shop is also interesting to me. Um, let's unreserve that. Get a bag. That'll buff the blueberry, and then also it will trigger Goobert faster. Friends of the Forest, huh? Death Scythe? Oh, because I've got the rainbow item. We're seeing the Reaper stuff. Spiked color. That's so useless for me right now. I am not Berserker. I don't know if I've seen any friends in the forest yet. We'll reserve the unidentified amulet. Alright, here we go. 
She is poisoning me, but the carrot is helping keep that down. Yeah, the bug. This is actually really good. Go you know, Goober keeps giving us more block, and the bow keeps ramping up and doing more and more damage. It was at 22 damage a shot there at the end. Is that an Uno reverse card? <laughs> I wish I had seen what that does. All right, grab this. Amulet of the Wild, trigger the pet and gain spikes, return damage limit of spikes. Uh, don't think we actually have a... Well, I guess Steel Goobert's a pet. Yeah, I don't know that that really helps that much. It's a leaf item, we can put that there. Meowdy. Hey, only cats, how you doing? Alright, let's reroll. Uh, we could get another blueberry there, which the bowl of treats will buff. Squirrel. Every four seconds, steal a random buff. Triggers 50% faster for each nearby pet or food. Uh... There we go, that looks pretty good. Items grant uh, gained 10 buffs, heal for 12. I think that's fine. All right, start. Okay. <laughs> every so every two point eight seconds. That's crazy. So the squirrel is just <laughs> just stealing buffs constantly. Oh wait, yo, I've never seen this graphic. Oh, I guess this game has skins or something. Today I learned. Dude, Steel Goobert is my MVP right now. Yippee! Okay. Uh, choose a skill. More stats, super spacious, thorn burst. Every 6.5 seconds, stun for 0 0.3 and gain two spikes. Trigger faster for spikes. Mana mastery. Uh, Mana orbs gain 17, plus 17 random buffs. What is a mana orb? I don't know what that is. Hmm. I'll just take the more stats thing. Get some bags. So I guess the damage of our weapon doesn't matter. We just want the one with the fastest cooldown because it's going to get buffed to hell from Steel Goobert. We just want one that attacks fast, even if it's like a, a low-end crappy one. Can't you have multiple bows? Yeah, sure. Don't know that I currently need to, but yes. Yes, I can. You could have put the small bow above Goober. Nah, it's fine. If I see another, I'll grab it. Every 3.3 seconds, inflict 5 ability damage, chance to inflict... Oh, wow. That looks really nice. And it's going to have a faster attack speed because of this thing. Um, Rat Chef. <laughs> okay. Oh, I would like that, too. That's really good. Uh, I'll reserve that. All right, start battle. Okay. Stealer buffs. 
Get yoinkin! I see. I guess she's cleansing. I don't see any debuffs on her from the rat. Yeah, I, I saw one appear and disappear like immediately. There we go. We got a rat chef. Uh, gain one regen for each food. Oh, it has to be near the food. Um. Another buff stealing would not be bad. This is really good too. I need a bag. No, perfect. Bag sale. All right, I don't know where we're gonna put it, but we got that. Um, the amulet to Goobert, it was the heart of your strategy. Uh... I was trying to get this. I don't know if it, I don't know if it was the heart of the strategy, but it was it was there. Sideways squirrel. <laughs> the squirrel and the short bow want to sink. Wait, what? Trigger 15% faster for each nearby pet or food. No. No. God, we are. Dude, I won? Oh, I thought I was gonna lose that. I was at four health. What was she hitting me with? Staff of Fire was almost all of her damage. And then the Phoenix was up. What is this? 59 to 61. Wow, that hits really freaking hard. Uh, stamina cost 0.95. Uses up mana and heat to do bonus damage. Okay, got it. Yeah, she hit really hard. Okay. Hmm. Blood amulet gives some max health at the beginning of battle. It's my back slots. <laughs> Get another buff stealing squirrel. Someone said bow can combine. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> Hold on. What is that? Squirrel Archer. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, it does. Alright, at the end of the next battle it will. Yeah, I, uh, you know, far be it for me to not understand that you can make Squirrel Archers. She enraged fat. Oh, that's right. One of the enrage options is like after five seconds. I keep. She keeps getting regen, and I keep stealing it. Look at my buffs and look at her buffs. <laughs> I've got three squirrels stealing all her buffs. 
All right. You know what this kind of feels like? This kind of feels like playing blue in Magic the Gathering. I know some of you know what I mean. Like, I'm just like, my fun is that you can't have fun. All right, we have a Squirrel Archer. I'm hoping the Squirrel Archer gets the buffs from Steel Goo, because it says weapons. I don't know if, the, well, it says weapon pet. So yeah, I guess Steel Goobert will buff it. Now we are actually have no stamina usage now at all because pets don't use stamina. I would love to get that. Every 2.6 seconds, cleanse poison. That would take care of one of our only weaknesses right now. I think we still got all the important stuff. Just in time, I'm fighting someone with poison and we have something that can cure it now. Yes, the Squirrel Archer is getting buffed. You can see its damage increasing from uh, Goobert. Now we just need cheese to just, just put some shredded cheese on the top of this for the infinite scaling health and we've, we've uh, got ourselves a, a solid dish. Man, we were at three hearts, like, here. And then we were just, like, fine all the way across. Uh, go squirrel. Yeah, basically all our damage is that squirrel. Hold on a second. Uh... Oh, no, so I, some from spikes. 59% <laughs> squirrel archer. Uh, survival mode. Keep going. Another rat. Yeah, another rat. Mm. I need more baggy waggies. Another carrot would be nice for cleansing. We just gotta find space for it. Preserve that. They will fear your shiny stuff. Oh, you know, I wanna pause this. Hold on. How does this work? Playing cards are offered in the shop. Start of battle, gain two luck, and start revealing the playing card. White eye white eyes blue dragon. <laughs> Uh, you take less ability damage. Uh, gain 12 guard plus 6 guard for each card before. Inflict ice. Block absorbs damage. Cold playing card on reveal. Starts revealing the playing card. Revealing the card. So it's, okay. Alright, so basically these all, like, you flip through all these cards like a, like it's a card deck. And they're stronger based on the first. Okay, hold on. White eyes, blue dragon. Reverse... The Lovers, Ho Hollow Fire Lizard, that's gotta be Charizard. The Lovers, White Eyes Blue Dragon, The Lovers, Darkest Lotus. <laughs> yeah, they got Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh references in this deck. Uh, the Lovers, I'm not sure what that's a reference to yet. Squirrels, take those buffs. The enemy, so I am stealing from them and they are dispelling things off of me. Okay, so my question with this strategy 
Once they have flipped all the cards over, do the cards keep doing stuff, or are they done? On reveal, you take less ability damage. I'm assuming that's just for the rest of the encounter. Gain block. I assume that's a one-time gain. Inflict some ice. Okay... So, I, it feels like once all the cards are revealed, I don't have much to fear from them. Oh, the music is done. Okay, how tough is the squirrel right now? He's doing 29 damage a hit. He started at like 2. Yay! Yay! Okay. Uh, let's get... that. And throw that there. satisfying when you got like one weird spot and you get one of these purses to fill it up and the purse also gives you armor at the start of the battle oh we can throw this up here because why not oh wait that can make a rat chef wait do i want to make a rat chef hold on a second rat chef regen stamina i don't need more stamina and gain empower empowers weapons do plus one damage I don't know, I might rather have the rat not be a rat chef, because then it does poison and blinding. Maybe not make the chef. Okay. What's that animal do? Hedgehog, every 3.4 seconds does ability damage, and it increases based on your spikes. If your health goes below 70%, you get spikes in armor one time. <laughs> You can lock items so they don't combine. Oh, really? What? Do I, like, right-click it or something? Dude, stealing all their boss is just so damn mean. <laughs> oh, suddenly I've taken some big hits. Uh, that there. Uh... Okay, cool. All right, thanks. Today I learned. The next three hits are critical. Goobert. Do I have any other goobers I can combine with right now? A carrot? Hold on. Carrot goober. Six item activations, cleanse four debuffs, and gain two in power for eight seconds. Uh, hmm. Space would be the issue, though. Draconic, oh, Draconic Orb used to be so OP, it was the next five hits or crits. Oh my. You know, I saw the Cthulhu earlier and I got excited because I recognized it was from Magicraft, but I never actually stopped and read it. What does it do? Every 2.8 seconds, deal 10 ability damage with 100% uh, life steal and trigger a random food buff. Okay. Oh wait, what is this? Slime time. Gooblings are offered in the shop. On buy, generate a goobling. Is that... Is that a goobert? I'm guessing because of the graphic, a goobling is a goobert. Every 2.2 seconds, advance all gooberts and gooblings by one activation. Oh. Okay, so we saw Mr. Struggles in the shop when we played her for one round, and it says it unlocks plushies, but we never saw the other plushies. So there's Miss Struggles. Every 2.5 seconds, remove one buff of each type from your opponent. Misfortune. 
Every 1.75 seconds, use luck to gain three buffs of the type of which you have the most. Trigger 20% faster from Fanny Pack. Oh, because it's in a Fanny Pack, okay. That's interesting. So I'm going to be stealing buffs from her, and then she's going to be dispelling them from me. All right, she's actually gaining some poisons because of the rats that I intentionally did not turn into rat shells. Gooblings are small gooberts that combine into a goobert. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, she actually started clocking me there at the end. Uh, let me see... Excalibur was most of her damage to me, followed by Fatigue. And then Cthulhu. Squirrel Archer was most of my damage, followed by Poison and Spikes. Excalibur. Right there. <laughs> wow, that is a lot of damage. On attack, use 11 mana and trigger all food. Wow. <laughs> it's like the Sword of the Frying Pan on the end. That's goofy. Oh no, he ate both the carrots! He was supposed to eat one of them. Well, damn. Whoops. Hold on a sec. Well, did it require two care? Oh, it did require two. Oh, okay. I, all right, never mind. He did exactly what he was supposed to. Never mind. I miss. Uh, I misunderstood. The battle log show you like how much your uh, buckler has blocked at the end? Is that shown in there somewhere? I'm kind of curious if I can see like how much it's helped. I think it can. Hold on, go to the end. The wooden buckler triggered. Oh, no, steel. Oh, the block is not that. So, wooden buckler triggered 17 times. And each time it blocks 7 damage. Or up to 7. Okay. So, like a hundred and. near 120 damage it blocked. It's not bad. Just from one low-level buckler plus the shielded thing. Um, Might be our last bottom? We'll see. Holy crap. <laughs> she is hitting me really hard. Dancing dragon. Bro, what the hell is this? Deal plus 0.5 damage per heat. She has 24 heat. Dragons are kind of good. I've used those. Oh, what is this thing? King Crown. Every 1.62 seconds, heal for five and protect a buff from removal. Uh, yeah, D Dancy Dragon's doing like all of it. Th this thing's wrecking me. On hit, 80% chance to inflict two poison. Ouch. Okay. Survival bonus. Wait, what? Oh, does it just survival just end when you when you lose a match? Does is it just go until you lose a match? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's see. How are we doing on time? Ten forty. Okay, we still got time. Oh, dang it, my stream deck. 
Hang on a sec. Um, streaming issue I'm just gonna fix real fast. I got a piece of software that's being stupid. 